I love puzzles. I love to solve puzzles. Before KDP, before anything, I'm a puzzle solver and puzzle developer. So if I say to you that I spent a month solving these puzzles without making zero profit out of it, you're going to say, oh, Marina, what I do? You're wasting your time. This is the, you failed. I did not fail because I'm, I mean, if you are not, if you do not love puzzles, if you do not love mazes, uh, I don't think I can ever put in the words how I feel when I'm solving mazes and when I'm drawing mazes and when I'm solving puzzles. Okay, let's get back to the tool. Let me show you the tool. I will guide you through the everything. I'm going to show you what you get for the price and before I start I'm going to tell you right now the price is around 50 United States dollars plus or minus 10 dollars if you have taxes in your country the link is on the screen right now the link is down below in the description uh, the price is one time lifetime license that's it you just pay 50 dollars once and you are settled for life. Every upgrade, every uh, advancement, every improvement, every puzzle that is going to be generated in the future is included in this $50 price. Yes, $50. When I saw this price, I was like, how? How is this possible? What is happening here? Something magical is happening here. Okay let me show you what we have here this is a cross plus a software cross plus a software this is what you're going to see when you open it for the first time so once you download it once you type in your license and license is just 50 dollars so even if you're never going to use it this is something for you to get for sure as soon as you get it the better the, uh, you can start working uh, immediately. I'm going to walk you through all the, all the steps here. So first here you have a file and here you can create a database, open database. What this here is for word search and for uh, collecting your own words and creating a database for your own uh, word puzzles. So you see you have anagrams, you have a dictionary. So just the dictionary alone that you will be getting with this software is uh, is over $50 for sure. You have stores around the world that are selling just dictionary for over $50. So that is what you're going to find under file. In most cases, for me, I never go here. I never use here because I have my own database for the words. So I'm not using this. So this is something that you can explore. Also the same here, this second tab, edit. This edit refers to editing that word collection. If you want to add word, if you want to delete word, if you want to change the keywords or description or the clue for that word. Then you can search that database of the words by letter, by anagram, by all kinds of things here. And then we have puzzles here. This is puzzle solver. This is puzzle solver here. Here you can find all the puzzles that are available in this software at the moment of release of this video. And now we come to the drum rolls, the important part, the puzzle generator. This is a part of this program that is the most important for you. Everything that you see here, you see here, this is a puzzle, this is a puzzle, this is a puzzle generator. All these puzzles are included within this software. Each of these tabs, once you hover with the mouse on top of it, you get 10 to 12 different, completely different puzzles and they all work. Every single puzzle generator works. Now, once you scroll through this, you will see that each puzzle has a unique icon. Now we need to talk about commercial rights. You are allowed to use this software commercially, completely, 100%. You can sell the puzzles you generate. You can give them for free. You can use them for 
PLR, I, I still don't know what that is, but you can use it for that. So there are, there are no limits. What you are not allowed to use is these icons here. So these icons are branded icons uh, by the puzzle developer. So you cannot use these icons to promote your book that will be uh, with this uh, puzzle. So that's number one. And number two is you uh, cannot use their exact description. So each puzzle has a description that is written for this software. You need to come up with different wordings when you describe uh, this puzzle. And I'm not talking about name you still need to check is the name okay for example i think there is a battleship here yes so the battleship here is you are not allowed to use battleship in your puzzle book because battleship is a trademark word so the word you can use is warships so you can use warships you cannot use battleships so you still have to check is the name of the puzzle trademarked if you want to publish a book with that puzzle but before we go to the generator, and I'm going to show you, trust me, I'm going to show you everything here. I'm going to switch to the help section, or better yet, view section. Let's uh, go by the other view section. This is very important if you're going to publish your books with KDP, and they're going to be, in most cases, black and white. So first thing that you need to do is go here under fonts and colors. And this is where you can set your font your main font so let's go to puzzle section though that is important part so here in this drop menu you can select your font you can also change the size of the font you see how the uh, font is increasing and decreasing this is for all the puzzles so you do not have individual font changer for each puzzle what you do have here is uh, this automatically changes the font size of everything. So it changes the letters, it changes the numbers, it changes the shapes, everything that is in the puzzle. Here you can change the line color. You have a uh, word search that is actually a number uh, chain. So it is a chain, uh, you see it goes cross word. So the word search that is moving like a snake in the puzzle grid so you can change the line color of the solution you can change the line width here you see it becomes bigger like this and you can change the line transparency it's not going to be visible here this is only going to be visible as you can see here if you export puzzles in svg and now here this is important you see here everything for me is gray once you first open this software you're going to have all kinds of different colors here so what you need to do is and you cannot change this one click on this one pick gray click ok click on this one select gray click ok you only have to do this once and every time you close the program and open it it's going to remember your selection so all the diagonals uh, special labels special marks they're going to be in gray color and here you change the ratio between the line this line width and this line width so you can make it bigger or smaller so scale ratio for the line width and this once again it's only for vector export svg so that's it this is something that you set and what i would also recommend that you take a screenshot of your settings so if in the future if you update uh, software or you make some changes so you can go back and you keep unif your books uh, are uniform by making sure all these settings are uh, the same if you uh, think that you make some mistake here you can click here to go back to default export to pdf this is not important please 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 do not export to pdf just because i'm showing you this tool that is a great tool that doesn't relieve you from your duty to make your books proper this puzzle generator generates puzzle images it is up to you to create a nice looking book it is not going to be uh, it, uh because I'm, I'm i don't know how many times do i have to tell you this this is not a kdp 
puzzle generator. This is not a generator directed towards you. You are not the target audience. Please respect this. Please, for the love of everything under the sun, do not send messages, emails to this developer. Can you make this so it makes six per PDF, US letter, A4, uh, six by nine inches? Please, please, please. He did his part, they did their part, they are providing you with a tool that is life-changing, that there is absolutely no way that you cannot make money with this tool. Absolutely no way. And the only way that you can have this tool legally on your computer and not make any money out of it is if you fail to use it properly. If you fail to do the work, nothing comes easy. Generating 1000 Sudoku books, 1000 Kakoro books is not going to do you any good. You need to stop, you need to think, you need to research the market and you need to make sure that your book is of value, is of value. If you're not going to produce the value, then don't be surprised if your uh, income stays at zero. So this, where it says export to PDF, that only means that the puzzle image is going to be here, here, as you see it here on PDF. It's not going to create a PDF that you can directly upload to Amazon KDP. It doesn't work like that. It's not like that. It's going to generate puzzles yeah, as PNG or SVG, and then you need to use that and put them uh, into your uh, book creation tool, whatever you use. Me personally, I use PowerPoint because I have look, BAUS, uh, bulk import generator and the latest release that is available has SVG import. So the puzzle uh, book uh, import to PowerPoint to, to generate books uh, that look BAUS uh, released has SVG import and you can put uh, and you then you can with that tool you can create uh, puzzle books easy easier easier than doing them manually just please one more time I'm begging you seriously do not send weird uh, strange messages to the developer. Can you do this? Can you do that? Can you make this blue? Can you make this pink? Can you make this glow in the dark? No. The tool is here. The tool is perfect. Generator is working. Do your work. Do your part of the job. He did his part. They did this part. The, the group of developers that developed the software, they did this part. They, they are finished. What they have now to do is, if there is a bug, you report a bug. If uh, you have a new puzzle that you would like them to add, you send them a message. I would like this puzzle to be added if possible. That is something that you can do. But until you explore everything, read everything, read the help pages, try to avoid sending any emails to this developer. I'm telling you right now, if you have any questions, please ask me. I've talked with the developer. Uh, I studied this program for so long. I know 99% about everything that is regarding this software. So please, I want to be some form of protective wall between you and the developer. So please, if you have any questions about this software, ask me down below. If you don't want to ask me down below, you can join my Facebook group. Uh, you can ask me there, you can send me DM, you can send me email, whatever you want, whatever is going to prevent you from uh, torturing the developer of this software. Not a KDP puzzle generator. It can be used for KDP, it can be used for whatever you want, but it is not targeting you. So please, please, please respect that. Please respect that. Okay. So once you have finished here, once everything is settled, click OK. Done. Go to Generator. Pick the puzzle. As you can see here, every time you open something here, it gives you a different puzzle. 
I have in my Gumroad store an Excel sheet where everything is listed. So you will have Excel sheet where you can find all the puzzles that are available listed and under the number they are here. So you can go there, you can go to my Gumroad store. It is free, of course. Uh, go to my Gumroad store and download this Excel file so you can navigate through this program uh, more uh, effectively. So I'm just going to start with the first one. I'm just going to start with here, just for example. I have Sudoku and I have, oh, I, I didn't know some of these Sudokus I didn't know exist. So click on, let's say, 9 by 9. And this is what's going to happen. You're going to have another window popped up. First here, you're going to have uh, this scroll uh, bar where you can select level of complexity. So you have easy and then in between all these levels. If you click show colors, that is going to use red, yellow, blue, purple for some of the lines. And then you have different characteristics of the puzzle. Once again, if you do not know uh, Sudoku puzzles, please research about them. Do not just click this randomly hoping that you're going to get, I don't know, uh, some magic every single day this is a diagonal this means that on diagonal there is no repeating numbers or some numbers are repeating but they are only exclusively on these diagonals argyle sudoku asterisk sudoku windoku so you can type in words as well you see if i click here i can type words i can also have hidden word all of this is going to be explained in my future upcoming videos because each of these puzzles are unique every single so we are just we, we are just in sudoku we didn't even open 400 other puzzles we are still in sudoku and already in sudoku we have nine by nine this one nine by nine this one nine by nine this one nine 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 this one and this one so you can also mix and match between some of these not all but some of them you can also se select symmetry between so many options. Now, let's see what we can do here. Let's start with medium. If you click on create, it is going to create a puzzle and solution here. So that is just one time, one puzzle. If what in most cases you want is to create multiple puzzles. So that means you need to click on batch creating here select this amount of puzzles and type how many puzzles you want and i would suggest that you keep it around 100 200 don't go over that so keep it uh, simple keep it small because you do not want to uh, force out the software too much it's better that you generate 10 times 100 puzzles then you try to generate 1000 puzzles and then uh, the program freezes in the middle and then uh, you have an uh, issue here in this section this is how it's going to save the puzzle and this section is how it's going to save the solution the name of the uh, output file is already given to you so sudoku and sudoku solution what you need to do is select the output folder for the puzzle and solution and then you need to pick what file format you want as you can clearly see here i only use svg now the reason why i use svg is because i tested all of this so i tested everything and when it comes to printed version printed version of the puzzle svg is the best png doesn't look good in print it is too light and too blurry for Amazon KDP. So the only export I'm using and the only export I would suggest you to use is the SVG. Also, once you make your selections for the first time, so you select folder for the first time, select uh, file format for the first time, the program is going to memorize this. It's going to memorize this and every single time you open this, it's going to keep it uh, like this as the last time you use it. 
Here you can uh, change the starting sequence number. So let's say I selected 10 numbers, 10 easy, and then I'm going to type 1. And then I'm going to go back, change the level of complexity, and then once again 10 puzzles, and then I will type here 11. So that means that the first puzzle he's going to generate, the number that it's going to be added, to the name, to the file name, it's going to be 11, 12, 30. So that is how you can control the output file name. Also, you can control here where that number is going to be after the file name or before file name. So it can be either Sudoku 1 or 1 Sudoku. And here you can select what is going to happen after it creates puzzles. You can click uh, that it exits program or you can turn off computer, so you can leave it uh, running overnight. I would not recommend, but you can do that. You can put it in hibernate, you can put it on standby after it creates puzzles. So that's an option as well. So let's see. So we have amount of puzzles, sequence numbers. Let's click on create. And let's see what's going to happen now. Now this is crucial. If you selected SVG, this number is not important because SVG file is a vector file. As you can see here, you have option between 3 to uh, 999. There is no need for you to go over 150 if you selected SVG. So 100, 150 is perfectly fine. The program is going to generate SVGs. SVGs as a file format are vectors. They, uh, the original dimension is not important because they can be scaled up or down without losing quality. Here you can select the line color. So the line color would be these lines here. So the small lines, middle lines. And this here is going to be the color of the regions. So these thicker lines. And as you can see here, I selected to have a thick line. So this line here, it's going to be the same as you see it here, thick line. If I click show colors, if I click show colors, the line for variations, so for example, if I pick diagonals, if I select here, diagonals are going to be red. If I do not click this, this is important. Even if I selected on that uh, initial menu gray, this is going to result as gray. So this is now going to give me a gray uh, color of the diagonals. If I click here, then it's going to be red. This one is going to, this one is physically the word means colors. So this is black and uh, gray and white. So that's here. And here, when you uh, select show colors, that actually physically means uh, colors like red, blue, green, purple, pink, and all the colors of the rainbow. So if you want everything to stay in a gray scale, you need to leave this unchecked. So this is a selection window for creating puzzles. So you have 120, black, black, click OK. It's going to ask you one more time, so one more time, because this is now selection video for solution files. Let's click OK and let's see what happens. And that's it. He just generated 10 uh, puzzles. And now I can go to help and I can see here how each of the Sudoku puzzles looks like. You have a short explanation what they are and uh, everything that you want to know about these puzzles and styles, you have that here in this section. And you also have the same for all the puzzles here. So you can scroll and see. So this is what I told you. This is something that you are not allowed to use as is. You cannot just copy paste this. Uh, and use it in your pro in your books you need to uh, you need to uh, change this up you need to come up with your own uh, wordings to uh, explain uh, the puzzle describe the puzzle and also remember one more time make sure that you check the name is the name trademark before you published a uh, book let's go back let's uh, turn this off so that was help Regions. This is also a puzzle, Sudoku puzzle. Let me show you. So this one, Sudoku DG. And here you can set the colors for each of the regions. If you're going to print this puzzle, this puzzle needs to be in colors. 
so this is where you can set also you can play you can uh, play with the settings and maybe change it to uh, shades of uh, gray if you want so if you click here you see it's changing you it's changing uh, the numbers or you can pick random or you can uh, also have a symmetry you see this one so these are regions of sudoku so nine nine regions that's a sudoku so that is what you can place here and that's it that is how you use this tool uh, in next videos i'm going to show you other puzzles that was uh, that was everything that I want to share you at this moment. Uh, welcome. <laughs> now it's perfectly time, perfect time for me to introduce myself. If you are still here, my name is Marina. Uh, I'm a designer, puzzle developer, and I, in my uh, YouTube channel, I share how I'm turning active effort into passive income. And in my Facebook group, uh, I asked people once I discovered this software, I asked, do you want me to share? They voted for me not to share. That is the only reason why I didn't share the information about this software before today. Uh, click on the link down below, get the software, ask me any questions, join my Facebook group and ask me whatever you want there. Please do not send any message to a developer of this software until you read the help section. I believe that all the important parts that are needed for you to use this tool for KDP, I provided. So I'm telling you, no commercial restrictions at all. You can sell the puzzles, you can give them for free, you can do whatever you want with the puzzles. Fiverr, Upwork, uh, Creative Fabrica, whatever you want, wherever you want, you can use it commercially if you, of course, if you purchase the license. License is at the moment of recording of this video 50 United States dollars plus minus taxes in your country. License is lifetime license. You purchase just like Luke Baus is having. You buy it once and everything. So in the future, if they add 20 more puzzles, 30 more puzzles, they are all included with your license. You do not have to pay anything else ever again. You have uh, you have dictionary. Just dictionary alone is over uh, fifty dollars in value. So check out. Go to the link. Check out their website. This is the website. This is where you can check all the puzzles. Do you see the list here? This is shocking to me. This was a shock to me. I could not believe all of this is included. Every single puzzle under the sun is here. And then here on the bottom, you have explanation for all the puzzles. The latest uh, version, the latest version, let me check the latest version. So the latest version was uh, updated in January of this year and uh, the update was uh, the release was uh, four new puzzles so four new puzzles were added and here you can check the version history so you see from the time i purchased this software let's see one two three four five six seven eight new puzzles were added from the time i purchased this software full license Everything is included here. Uh, check out the website. Check out the link down below to get it for fifty dollars. And until next video, as usual, I'll see you down below in the comments. Stay safe, everybody. And I truly, truly hope this is going to make your twenty twenty three uh, online income. <laughs> I know, explode X. Explode, 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 explode. Okay, on to the work. Have a nice day. Stay safe. Bye.